and not do well. We're going to handle some fire. Yep. It's cool in here. I just taught Alex how to use our coffee machine for the first time. So I made him a cup of coffee to show him how, and now he's and gonna look make. Look how beautiful it is. Here it is. Look at her latte art. Beautiful. <laughs> if you don't see the art, you're uncultured. So I'm gonna see if he can do it. Um, it's right there over in the dish dryer. Oof! Is that always where you keep it? Yeah. Nice. So first we pulled out this hammer and emptied it into the trash and then rinsed it out. Now you gotta get a scoop. I'm gonna try to do this as much as Katie as possible. Um, so you're gonna get about a scoop and a half. There's a line in there that I'm not gonna tell you about until it's too late, <laughs> but um, it doesn't matter if you overfill it, it's gonna be fine, probably. Unless you can't lock it on there and then it's too full. Yeah but I'm gonna fill up the scoop really big and then kind of just do that. The first one I dumped all the way in, the second one I, I kind of... full one. Yeah, I know. And then, and then I think we're done here. No way, that needs way more. I'm not doing well. <laughs> I was just telling Katie that it's crazy that this is me finally learning how to use one of these machines in my family, because I'm pretty sure Every other person knows how to do this. Is this one? No, but you could try tamping it down and then put more if you want. Mm. All right, it's done. Go ahead and, and tamp then it. I do this thing that's magnetic and pretty slick, and then I just mash it. And I normally do a little twisty. She, oh, she didn't tell me that in the tutorial. Sorry. Just like real life. But if you ever overfill, you can use this and you like twist it around in there and it'll get out the excess and loosen it up. All right, that's like two full scoops, guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd say that that's good. All right, and then you slide that back in there. And then this you gotta put sideways. Yep, and then you're gonna lock it, which is fine. Okay, then we gotta heat the cup up to make the coffee taste good <laughs> and that you go this way Yep Oh, yeah Just like me before I get started. I probably need to take a little leap <laughs> of hot water And that's probably enough. I this is so. also to heat the cup up so that your coffee tastes better <laughs> Um, and to heat up the machine, but we already made my coffee, so it's probably pretty hot. Yeah. So we're gonna slosh it around a little. Um, for those trying at home, this is when you taste the coffee oh, that you've made so far. Oh, Boiling hot water. Then you put it under the slides, and then you say, I want two slides to go, because I love fun. And I don't uh, remember if Katie hit it twice on the front end. No. Okay, there's that answer. But I do hit it twice. Which I don't know that the Breville people would tell you to do that, but that's what I do. And then right now the Breville is gonna play a didgeridoo for you. Your coffee tastes better if you can make the same note as the machine. And then you go, boom, go again. And then it's like, all right, you want an encore? And then it really gets some phlegm into the didgeridoo. Gross. Next, we can prep our creamer, which is right here, and we're gonna mix it with a little bit of buttermilk. No, don't. You can put half and half in there. Put a little bit of half and half in there. All right. Katie didn't tell me how much to put in here, so we're gonna eyeball it. Whoop! I do a little more than that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, that's what you get for letting me make your coffee. Just a spittle bit more. Spittle? Yep, oh boy, that was a lot. Oh boy. I'm never gonna be good enough. <laughs> all right, now we have this little nozzle who goes all over the place. Yeah. I don't really know what animal it reminds me of. I'm thinking of a bird. Yep. <gasps> yeah, a hummingbird, that's what it was. And I'm gonna put it in the corner a little and now turn towards me. Do I have to hold it? No, I don't. Nope. And you have to feed the Breville hummingbird. 
and it will sweeten your creamer. Yay! I thought the creamer was plenty sweet, but whatever. Katie He's just making stuff up. He's a sugar bird. I am a sugar bird. I don't totally know how long I do this for. Pretty much until you can't anymore. Yeah, that's what, what I normally like do. You. So yours is going to be very creamy. Yay! Very frothy. I'm afraid. Oh! Oh my. Yeah, you wait till it's done, but you know. You want to pour it in there? Yep. Pour it into your magic masterpiece. Why is he getting piece? mad? What do you mean? He's not mad. What's going on? That's what he does. Mm. And then when he's done doing that, I turn him off. But I wait till Why he's he, done. Where's the steam coming from? The bottom. From your bottom? No. Not anymore. I was this morning. I was farting? Where? I can't even go for it. I feel like I'm going to yeah, get burned can. by the geyser. No. All right, old faithful. It's pretty warm. Yeah. Oh gosh. Tip. Yep. And then I'm gonna do some latte art. Beauty, beautiful. Very good. Thanks, sweetie pie. If you can't see the art, you're in culture. Look, she just wakes up like this. She's just a goddess. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. We're going to Handel's Messiah. Yep. Which I don't. I don't know if you actually say it, Handel. That's just what I've been saying. I'm pretty sure it's like Handel. Oh, probably. I've never even heard of that. Gregor Mendel's Messiah. I don't even know who that is. That's the guy who did the genetics. Oh, you I did know, know that. You know. There's a formula. Yeah. Right? Kind of. Oh. For the most part. There isn't some type of Mendel's formula. I don't know that he had a formula, but he did the, the, um, shoot, that has a name, like hereditary squares or whatever. Punnett square? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but I haven't taken bio in a while. I took anthropology. But you know, it's not where it's recessive long, and dominant, and if you have two recessives, then you get the little R's. Yeah, I learned it in my anthropology two, which Lost. was... Genetics and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Punnett Square. That's what it is. Um, but yeah. My exciting news is that we got a D and D TV, so that we can leave ours hooked up because we are a little bit spoiled, a little bit lazy. Where it's like, oh, it's too much work to unplug our TV and well, take the mount off and put it on the table. It is. It kind of is. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth it. And what if someone got too rough and broke our TV? That or this way, suck. That one's for that. And I don't think that would happen. But yeah. But it's got speakers built in, it's got a little bevel on the edge, so we're gonna put plexiglass on top, and it'll clean off the screen right before we put it on so it's forever clean. And then, yeah, so you can put your characters right on. I'll build some kind of mount for the bottom so that it'll stand up a little bit. For now, I might do that later, and we'll just keep putting it on books. So Alex's parents are gonna come pick us up and then we're gonna get dinner, and then my parents are gonna go. It's gonna be a fun, hopefully kind of Christmassy night. Oh, we get to hang out with Ron and Dee Yeah, and I don't really know them that well, so that'll be fun. fun. Yeah, cool. They're weird. Yay, they I love weird people. Way. Yeah, we love them. Yay. Oh, you know it. Yeah. You go, girl. Ooh, cool. Don't forget to show my boots. <gasps> oh, look at his boots, look at his boots. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool in here. What? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We're both you like, we gotta get that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got it. Oh, we got some coffee. Coffee, coffee. So coffee, coffee. <laughs>
John, you're ruining the frame. John, get out of the picture. <laughs> oh, he's taking 360. He's gonna be there forever. Oh. I'm almost done. You should just go back that way a little Let's bit. Let's go back. Let's go back. Beep, 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 beep. Oh my God, just a couple more pictures. <laughs> Is. Boom, there it is. Vlogmas. We're doing it. <laughs> John was playing some of your videos for the kids. Oh, yeah? They were like, <laughs> I'd rather them watch something like she do <laughs> for fun. <laughs> she might not even. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't understand kids. But like, video when everybody sees it. They're like, I don't understand. Logan's been saying that. He goes, wow, cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool.